think for most Korean students, they're used to a traditional lecture style. Mm. I like to um, use the Socratic method when mm. I teach, and, I, and I'm always trying to draw my students out and ask them for their opinions and their, I, their own ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, at first, they're not used to it, and they're a little bit hesitant to mm -hmm. talk, but with a little coaxing, the, mm -hmm. they get used to it. Learning styles are very different. Korean students are used to memorizing right. a massive amount <laughs> of information <laughs> with 100% accuracy. Yes. Mm -hmm. But there is a lot less digestion mm. of that information. Yeah. I mean, going to graduate school here uh, in, in South Korea, for me, I had, in a, in a way, sort of the opposite shock as what your students are experiencing, I'm sure. So for me, it was like, why are people not talking about what they think, <laughs> you know? And why is it when the professor asks a question about what they think, I'm the first one to open my mouth and everybody's waiting to see what it's, what's okay to talk about. I think there's a lot of hesitation. I think that's why Korean government and mm. the U.S. government is trying to strengthen exchanges between the mm -hmm. two countries. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the RK US summit last April, the heads of the two countries agreed to uh, strengthen people to people exchanges for, for future generations. They both agreed to invest 60 million US dollars together to support the exchanges between the 2023 Korean and American youth. So, what actions are needed to enhance these kind of exchanges? Don't you say? If I were to make some kind of suggestions, I would say that rather than just holding conferences mm. and meetings and Cliche. workshops <laughs> <Yeah>. and <laughs> writing papers <laughs> that very few people are going to actually read, mm -hmm. yeah. I think that it would be more helpful and more productive if you have some forum for actual dialogue uh, yeah. and problem solving mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and a, a format for then that to be translated into action. I, I would just also really hope that other policy choices will follow uh, because it's one thing to invest in putting to people in the same room, so to speak, but it's another thing to make sure that room uh, feels good to everybody. Where, you know, housing is very difficult in South Korea overall for everybody. And when you're taking students from another country, they need a place to stay. So many universities had the response of saying, well, we're going to build a dormitory that's specifically for foreign students. And so what happens is you develop a, a, a campus culture uh, that is segregated, it, not on purpose, but by accident. And so even though you're bringing many students from the United States, you're they're not getting integrated into Korean society. They're not really communicating and connecting to Koreans because you put them in a different room, mm -hmm. right? And there's and a physical there's separation. There's a physical separation on top of the pre existing linguistic separation mm -hmm. that is already there. So I think there really needs to be sincere uh, discussion about how to integrate more as these exchanges occur for more high quality exchange. Um, so that's one point. Uh, and then the second would also be, again, in the policy realm, because in order for really the most influential programs that we've seen in human to human exchange between these two countries have been, have been in programs like the Fulbright program or the KGSB program, where you have people who have gone on these uh, government sp sponsored programs and they became, you know, the chongni, right, of that country, or, <laughs> or they became, you know, the head of a research institute or a really influential professor or a judge in that country. And in order for that to continue to happen, you have to have the right uh, visa systems in place for people when they go to school in this other country to continue to gain and build professional experience and integrate into that society. So whether they stay or they go home, to have that high level of integration and know-how in order to then later be able to contribute to this alliance.